saints how's it going um wow today is such a glorious day every day is a glorious fabulous amazing day when you look out even when the sun isn't bright and shining you know that the sun is bright you know that he is ruling and reigning in your life you know that not only is he ruling and reigning in your life but he's shining brightly upon all of his creation the heavens really do declare his majesty and i think that at some point we need to declare his majesty and just not take for granted what he's done for us you know it's always bless me bless me bless me it's always lord i need this lord i need that i'm got i'm i'm to that place now where lord i don't need anything i don't want anything i just really want more of you i want to experience greater depths and higher heights of our relationship and i just want to get to know you inside and out and i want you to know me um, on that level lord that i already know that you know me but i want to know that you know me that way and lord every breath i take every move i make father god i want it to be for your glory for the cause I found a scripture, um, actually I heard it at a camp meeting last night, when uh, David, King David, but when he was just a small boy, when he went to uh, fight with Goliath, his brothers jumped on him and said, oh, you're just so full of naughtiness, you are so full of pride, you are blah, 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 you know, your own family will come and curse you and say, yeah, 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 yeah. you can't do that, you're, you've been this and you've been that and God will never use you, shut up devil. The devil is a liar. All his imps are a liar. And saints, you have been anointed, appointed, called, commissioned, and qualified by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Tell them to shut up because they're just voices. Yeah. Listen to the voice of reasoning. Stop listening to the enemy because he'll stop you. David's reply to his brothers was like, dude, you know, today's language, dude, I, what, I don't know what you're talking about. There's a cause and I'm fixing to get on board. Only y'all sit around and blah, blah, blah. And you all, oh, we're so scared we're going to die. I'm fixing to go out here and kill me some devil giant. Ha! Hallelujah! Woo! I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited. I'm going to camp meeting again today. I'm going to camp meeting all day, all night, tomorrow. They better get ready because they want the Holy Ghost. They said, we want to move a God. Well, I asked the Lord. I said, do something different. He did. Yeah. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Should have heard the comments afterwards. I said, Lord, I'm just going to sit back and pray. That's all you got to do sometimes, saying, just sit there and grin. No, you've been praying and you've been asking the Lord to have his way. Man, he's going to have, he's going to have his way. It only takes one voice. King David. How dare you uncircumcised Philistine mess with my God. How dare you, said David. You don't know who you're dealing with. You're dealing with the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. You're dealing with the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and you fixing a deal with me because I'm coming on his behalf, and I'm fixing to slay me some giant. Not only am I going to kill you, I'm going to cut your head off, and it ain't going to grow back because I apply the blood of Jesus to that wound. Hallelujah, saints. I don't know about y'all, but it's time to put your big girl panties on or your big boy boxers. Grow up. Quit having a pity party because you are anointed. You are appointed. You have an unction at this junction to function according to the, mm, the word of God that richly dwells in you. I came to hmm, encourage you. No more pity parties. Let me tell you what, saints some point David had to get out of the pit and go to the palace but he had to go into the pit before he could get to the palace remember that whatever pit you're in it's time that you ask the Lord okay I'm ready to go to the palace I ain't playing this pity party no more I'm gonna do whatever I have to while I'm in the pit but I know my destination is the palace with the king of kings and the lord of lords ha hallelujah to the lamb of God remember the word says that spiders dwell in king's palaces. So don't think that there's not going to be an enemy in your palace or in your pit. 
and wherever you're at in between, there's always going to be the enemy. There's always going to be a bloodsucker. There's always going to be somebody or something that tries to stop you uh, and try to put their venomous fangs in you. Remember that, saints. On your way from the pit to the palace, spiders live in king's palaces. So don't think that King David didn't have some, King Saul and every king that came after him. But there's one king that didn't have to worry about it. Because he used the evil for God's glory. Ha! See, that's God. Oh, well, you don't know what the devil's done to me. Well, I know what you let him do to you. Because once you have the glory and the power and the anointing and the appointing and the commissioning and the call, if you would quit putting the phone on blocked caller when the Lord... Hmm, yeah, think about that. If you quit putting it on the block call and uh, block his call... Yeah, he's called you a whole lot of times. You just pushed the button that said block. Don't want to hear it. No. Blah, 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 blah. Listen, guys. Ladies. I love y'all. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, yeah. It's a little shaky. But you know what? The Holy Ghost, he'll shake you. It'll be worse than this telephone shaking. It's time you had a shaking. It's time we all had a shaking. Because judgment is going to start at the house of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's biblical. You can't get away from it. God is no respecter of persons. And I declare and decree over you that because the anointing abides in you, because the Holy Spirit is in you, he will show you all things. He will remind you of all things. And he will call all things to remembrance. Now remember, David and Goliath fighting for a cause. And the cause is the cause of Christ. And I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to preach Jesus Christ and him crucified. I'm not worried about what people think about me because guess what? I'm dead. Mm -hmm. And my life is hidden with Christ. That's for us today. Saints, I love you. God bless you. I'm just kind of, you know, a little all over the place because it's just kind of coming to me. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to fight for the cause of Christ. I'm going to endure unto the end. And I bless you today. Even if you're not going to camp meeting. Even if you're not going to be in meetings all day with um, you know, other believers. You can meet right where you're at with the Lord all day long. At work, at play, whatever. Okay? Turn the television off. Put Facebook down. And get alone with the Lord. And let the power come through. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't. Because he said, I have ordained you. You are my workmanship. You are my handiwork. You are my gift to the body of Christ. I have gifted you and I have called you and I will use you, says the Lord. But you've got to be willing, saints. So I tell you what, I love you. God bless you. A sister with a testimony here. Hope took the day off, just so y'all know. She got dirty yesterday. She's like, mom, mom, you know, mom ain't got time to clean you up. And you can't be looking all muddy and filthy when you're on camera. You, you've still got to present yourself, Sister Hope. So don't let anybody mistake your confidence in the Lord God Almighty for arrogance. And if they do, it's because they don't have Jesus and they don't have the Holy Ghost. Because just like the preacher said last night, we are not to call anything that God called clean, common or unclean. God bless you. I love you. Mm, I plead the blood of Jesus over you to hide, protect, and keep you in all your ways. In Jesus' name. Yeshua Hamashiach. Mm. Oh, wow. Deer going across the churchyard. Isn't that awesome? Just, at Lord, as a deer panteth after water. Mm, my soul panteth after you. Now, that's prophetic. Yeah. Three beautiful doe going across the churchyard grass. God bless you. I love you, sister, with a testimony, fellowshipping, and harmonizing with the body of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys.